Day 173. Leaving the warden's office. I wish that coffee maker worked. <laughs> uh, did a pretty decent run through of the uh, supplies of the prison. Uh, heavy. <laughs> Very heavy. I only was able to get my uh, condition back up to about 50%. So I'm going to try and take it just a little bit easier today because, well, I'd like not to die. I've survived, wow, coming up on six months since the event. Still haven't seen another soul. Wow. That's depressing. <sighs> Focusing on the positives. I'm still alive. Wow. That's depressing. <laughs> anyway. Um, and I'm in prison. Wow. That's depressing. Ah! So, on to brighter news. Um, resources were good. Did find the uh, ballistics vest. Did find a crafting hammer. So I am traveling very heavy on the way back to the garage that I've been camping out. Oh, wow. Too heavy to climb. Too encumbered to climb down. How can that be a thing? Doesn't gravity kind of help you? For crying out loud. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get things to drop. I can't tell you as I'm necessarily going to use the vest and I've gotten it closer to me. Ugh. Punks. Can I get it off the edge and fall? No. And I can tell it's not going to do that. <sighs> okay. Then... Uh, it's not much water to drop, but we will go ahead and drop it. And I'm at 90 of 88. For right now, I'll drop the heavy hammer because I don't even have a forge to use it at yet. Haven't even located that, and I know where it's at. And we'll just get it closer. Okay, so that takes me... Okay, so I should be good to go. Now I'm hearing wolves. Where am I hearing you? I'd be surprised if you respawned inside the gate already. Where are you at? I'm trying to take a look around here. Does this gate open out of curiosity? Oh, that's not a gate. That's just more chain link fence. Okay. And okay. Is that where I'm hearing you? Okay, good. You're not in this section, which means... I'm probably relatively safe. Yay. I'll take relative safety. It's the only safety allowed here in, uh, the, the fr ah. <laughs> in Black Rock is what I was going to say. But let's be honest, relative safety is the only safety that's going to be allowed on all, all of Great Bear. <laughs> um, the game plan is for me to just go ahead and hustle these supplies uh, back to um, where I'm sheltering up. I'm going to go ahead and do the grind. You skip the time. Besides, you don't want to see all of my greatest uh, bleed spots from yesterday. That was a chute. All right, so we make it back to uh, the garage where I've been kind of setting up shop for the simple fact that there is a workbench and a burn barrel. So I did harvest a wolf that died between the attack yesterday and my walk back today. So we'll go ahead and uh, add that meat to the pile. And I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes kind of getting my gear organized in some of the containers here. Just to try to have some semblance of organization until I figure out kind of the next move. I'm thinking the uh, steam tunnels may happen today. Um, I'd like to also maybe take a look around and work up some firewood. I got killed by several wolves or I got attacked by several wolves yesterday and I'm just realizing there's a vehicle right there by the burn barrel I could have slept in the truck last night the truck is a viable bed I was all the way over in like the uh, out the um, stairs to the steam tunnels but the truck is a viable bed I didn't think about that oh well if that's the worst hiccup we should be fine Alrighty, let me go ahead and uh, put the equipment away. I'll catch up with...
All right, finished playing Inventory Simulator, and I want to get out here and take a look around here. With all the wolves that attacked me, I really believe this should be, you know, by comparison, safe. So I want to take a look, see if uh, I can get the firewood supply built up. Uh, I can't say as I supremely explored a ton during uh, uh, Winter Mute, and it'd be interesting to see what possible variants might be occurring during the actual survival gameplay. Uh, additionally, I just kind of want to take a look, see if maybe any of those wolves have dropped to add to the meat pile. I always kind of like to get a little bit of supply squared away earlier on in the base. So when I have, you know, days where I've got to, you know, heal up or I've got days where I've got to craft up, the supplies are already kind of there to keep me in a decent position. And come on, Hill, let me climb. Thank you. Feel my feet. Rude. Alrighty. So we're playing the Long Dark's favorite game of Pick Up Sticks. And it occurs to me that I should probably, while the weather is good, take advantage of a hill. There's a pair of dogs. Good. And I should actually get some surveying done here. So let's get this uh, marked onto the map. Hypothermic again. Just not going to get any grace on that. Um, I am flirting with the idea of not just getting the locations done on Blackrock, but maybe trying to do a complete map, like get the total map revealed. I don't know. We'll see how we go and how tedious that becomes. Uh... Most maps I usually like to get in and get out. Um, with Blackrock being the new one on the block, I kind of like a little bit of the idea of maybe trying to get total map done. I don't know. We'll have to see. I do know that I want to get some more work with uh, the dogs and the firewood, but we're getting already uh, you know, cold, so we're going to solve the cold the old-fashioned way with fire. So... Let me get uh, my uh, thermals regulated a little bit and I'll catch up in the... I do not consider it an understatement to say that I am still alive thanks to tea. Between its calories, hydration, and its warmth bonus, I really think that's what got me across Pleasant Valley, especially the warmth bonus. So that air message that comes up with every cup of tea of that treatment did nothing. It's the biggest laugh in this game. That treatment did exactly what I wanted it to do. And pain relief or indigestion had nothing to do with it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and chop firewood while the weather is good. And I'm chopping the firewood first because I have meat at camp already. And I want the firewood. After I get the firewood in, then my next focus will be getting the wolves processed. So that's kind of the priorities to me. Because we all know how fast weather can change on this island. Look at that. I didn't even plan it. Never been so hungry. <sighs> okay. I'm going to throw a piece of firewood on here to try to keep it on here. Because I got a feeling if it just went from sunshine to snow that quick, I got a feeling that a blizzard's coming shortly also. But we're still going to work the equation because that's how you do it here on... So yeah, the weather is turning on us, but with a fire already previously existing, we are going to give this a shot. Because no risk, no reward. Uh, also because I think there is a little bit of coating maybe. I've heard that storms and blizzards reset things like uh, you know animal fall, uh, twigs, branches, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm still not 100% on that, but it's what I've heard, and it's not the craziest thing I've seen because, golly, we got a storm here. On the upside, that fire is still going, so we're going to keep trying to soldier on and just sort of work. All right, so we got a full-scale blizzard coming in, and it's getting the better of me. <laughs> I am not liking that heartbeat sound. I'm not supremely worried about it because I do believe I can get back to shelter. It's just paranoidly. Um... And luckily, this area has enough landmarks on it that it's hard to get lost. This little corner of the prison, I know pretty well, even for a short term as it exists. So I do feel, yes, yeah, so I can actually get my butt back to, I think I'll try the car first because that's closest. And if I can get it to above zero, then we'll call it good. Oh, hang on. Don't get lost now. This is not the time to freak out. 
All right. Anything All right. Now. Get into the car. What are the stats going to be? Push the right button. There we are. Go ahead and get some calories into me because there's no need to go uh, red line on that. And then what are we going to have? Return? It's 34 plus 5. Okay, we're going to take the warm-up nap just to get uh, that taken care of. And that should get me out of that red heartbeat. It's sounding decent. Uh, okay, let's drink some water. Okay. Let's get a fire going. I ain't dead yet. I ain't going down fighting. I ain't going down without a fight is what I mean. Wow. You can tell I'm definitely kind of spooked a little bit, but there we go. Stick. All right. Let's get this. <laughs> you can tell I'm dedicated to playing cartographer. Get the charcoal. Let's uh, let's get this thing lit. Let's see if we can get uh, a little bit of a fire going. Maybe another hot tea. We can muscle through this. Give me a little bit to kind of work the problem. I'm not done. Okay, brewed a tea, threw a steak onto the fire. We're going to go ahead and take an hour nap. Uh, that takes us to about 36 degrees, a factor of the bonus. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take that uh, sleep. And survey says I'm alive. <laughs> there we are. Hypothermic risk yield. Okay. This feels like it might wind up being a, I think I didn't put the proper amount of firewood in. Okay. This feels like it might be a night of one hour naps here and there. Work on water and work in steak maybe. We'll see. Let me kind of work the equation and uh, we should be fine. Okay, so we're going ahead and putting ourselves down for a couple hours of sleep. Oh, I ate up so much that I'm not sleeping through the whole night. Okay. Still, it's fine. Condition's up to about 30%, so we're doing decent. Uh, here, let me put some light on the situation. Okay. Okay. Uh, temperature's fine, rest is fine, water's fine, food's fine, okay. Um, sounds like the storm has finally passed, so obviously that is a good thing. I didn't get to process at least one of those wolves, so let me head out and do that. And then if I'm going to be operating by lantern light, and I'm trying to not get myself killed... I think that this may wind up being the checking out the steam tunnels day. So that's the game plan as we have it for now. I'll stop playing with water bottles. Let me head out there. Plus one wolf, but uh, I went ahead and saved a little lantern light and the light quality was poor enough that I'm not going to bore you with that footage. But yes, plus one uh, wolf meat and uh, skins. So I think we'll go ahead and how's that curing up? Oh, good. Both are cured. Excellent. I think we'll go ahead and uh, find our ways on down to the steam tunnel here and uh, get things uh, explored. Uh, this reminds me, I think I've got like three furs on me, maybe. Take a look. Yeah, one, two, three. Those are cured. I need to finish making those gloves or uh, the rabbit skin mittens is what I need to do, too. Uh, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. Cured, 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 fresh. There we are. Get those dropped. Okay. Uh, and I'm trying to think through here. I don't need to be carrying all of this stuff. I'll go ahead and just drop this right here. It's close enough uh, if I actually want to start crafting on it. Okay. And no. trying to think my way through things just a little bit. Hypothermic risk. We're doing fine. 
Let's try to maybe sleep. Maybe. But I doubt I'm going to get to sunlight, to daylight. No. I'm too well rested. <laughs> but I'm getting closer. Um, we'll go ahead and take that with us. Because I may want to take a nap while I'm somewhere between here and the dam. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, getting a look at this as it was after explosion. Wow, golly. This place would totally be a death trap in like the Aurora. So... Yeah, I'm thinking I'm liking the idea of not sleeping in there often. I think I like the idea of just uh, crashing in the uh, pickup truck. Might need to keep fires going, but... Wood. Okay. But that is the game plan here. Please don't let the steam tunnels be something that we actually have to figure out in survival. It would make no sense considering that, like, the prison is literally exploded already. And I see more things that will kill me during an aurora. And, okay, that looks like... Can't tell if that looks beat or not. I'm not going to try and find out. I'm just saying... <sighs> well, this would be a, oh, an aurora kill. Ugh. Okay. All right. First aid box. Is that a candy bar on top of the first aid kit? <laughs> wow, the color just kind of blends in, and I wonder how many people would miss that. Ugh. All righty. What else we got around here? If memory serves, there should be... Yeah, there you are. A couple of uh, uh, lockers to pop here. So, let's... uh get our universal skeleton key otherwise known as a crowbar what do you got gloves okay and you plaid shirt okay ice starting to form again at least the doors are open anything behind there i've seen things behind the doors that open so good to spot check burn barrel soda okay I can deal with that. Anything. Looks like... Okay, I know that there's this locker here. And that's great. But I'm pretty certain there is two. Yeah, there we are. What do we got? Energy drink. And we pry this open again. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to say that's kind of the major treasure from the steam tunnels. But I'm going to go ahead and do the annoying explorative walk of the steam tunnels. Just to see if there is anything of surprise goodness in a corner someplace. I will do the crawl to save y'all. Catch in a few. Finish the steam tunnels. Uh, nothing epic. Uh, bits and pieces here and there. Wanted to check out the dam because I swear when I was here during winter mute, there looks like a lower level to this dam that I want to know if you can get to. It just really looks like they've put something down there. So as any you know good gamer, I want to know if you can get there. Alrighty, take a look. Nothing too unusual <laughs> around right there. Okay. <laughs> and I love holding the torch over the barrels of Lord knows what. Ah, a couple of flares. Don't mind if I do. Alright, does this work? I mean, look, there's stuff down there. They put a lot of decoration into it. Uh, ooh, coffee. Man after my own heart at the station. <laughs> when it's in stock again, I definitely just want that Hinderland cup. Uh, all right. Is this open? What? Uh, no. 
okay. Is this weekend? No. I mean, it just feels like there should be a way down. It feels like there's area design that I cannot access. Well, let me go ahead. I think what I'm going to do is search. And then I think since I've got the uh, sleeping mat with me, is I'll actually take a little bit of a nap in here as well because I want to be here during sunlight so I can go out and get this place surveyed for the map. So I will go ahead and do the general looting shuffle snore and be right back. All right, so we're getting to be just a little bit pre-dawn. I just want to take a look around this building. Am I missing something? Is there a third door somewhere that I am not familiar with because it just really feels like they have like an entire bottom floor that is inaccessible especially when you see down at the cliff there there's the uh, like a walkway right there a rail so it feels like there is something down there but it's almost impossible to get to like you'd almost have to like walk off of a cliff to fall onto it and then even if you got you know off the cliff then where are you gonna go I, maybe just one of those maybe that's probably exactly what it is they didn't intend it as gaming area but still here it is here they are and if you were to survive the fall to get to that, you're stuck. It wouldn't be the first thing I've seen. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud here. All right. Um, I know fairly quick I'm going to be getting into Timberwolf territory, and I do not want to press into that this moment. Let's go ahead and get this surveyed. Okay, and it looks like we're starting to get daylight now. Um, yeah, I'm thinking supplies are good, and I've got a relatively safe route all the way back to base. So I'm thinking what today's going to be is get back to base and craft up because I'm still at maybe 40% condition I need to just get myself into better condition so I think uh, today day 174 is going to be a day of around the campfire crafting repairing mending and generally just sort of uh, tanking as much water as I can and get a good nice work all day around the fire and then get myself tired and get a good 10 to 11 hours sleep and see if I can start day 175 at a 100% condition. I think that's going to be the safe conservative play uh, to uh, keep going here. However, I am also aware that the safe conservative play would also be boring. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that to you for footage. I will let you know that uh, I appreciate you watching. If you want to become a producer to the channel, check the links below for either Patreon or channel membership. And if you want to know if I live to see tomorrow, leave a like and subscribe. I am Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.